One day in Africa, I was praying and I felt like the Lord was encouraging me that I would be part of a prayer movement among Bible-centric churches like the one I came out of. Prayer is like this suitcase that's filled with a lot of things. Our relationship with the Holy Spirit and the power that He gives and the gifts that He gives, these things can be daunting, hard to measure, hard to control. It can feel less like a suitcase and more like Pandora's box. <laughs> For a lot of churches, you know, like what if we really press in here, what's going to happen? What kind of church are we going to become? Two or more can actually come alongside and help give people a framework for prayer that's biblical, a framework for relationship with God that is biblical, and just help people go, hey, let's actually make space for the Spirit of God to do things He did in the Bible. Um, the importance of gathering together to pray and not doing it by yourself exclusively. Abiding. Abiding prayer is that, hey, let's wait on the Lord and let's listen to him, let's meditate on scripture, let's soak in it, let scripture teach us something right now that maybe I've never known from this scripture. Let's let God just share with us something that's really powerful and profound. That ushers us into interceding with expectancy because we've waited on the Lord and the Lord shares things with us and is like, oh, let's pray more fervently for this thing, for this healing, for this lost person, for this this people group that doesn't know the Lord, all those things, right? And then fasting is kind of that last element that we incorporate. Fasting is a cry to the Lord for His presence and power to be manifest in us. Because it's not about your power, it's about the Spirit of God in you helping you intercede.